How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're jumping into ranked once again and this time I got some Cyber Dragon shenanigans. So this deck is actually pretty interesting because of the fact that we are running our Cyber Dragon uh, brethren uh, and we're combining them with the Christrons. Chris, Chris Trons, dude, the Chris Chans. We're running them with the Chris Chans. We're gonna Sana Chew all over our opponents. There's a, a bit of synergy actually because they're all machines. So if we want to actually fuse into Chimera Tech Over Dragon, Oh yeah, we can do that, and we can make this guy like 6,000 attack. It is kind of insane. Uh, three copies of Sofnir, uh, Sofefnir apparently is his name. Uh, so this guy is really, really awesome. If you guys saw my Christron video, this guy's able to pull out one of these guys or these guys from the deck, or even himself, which is actually really amazing. So he's able to put things in your grave and pull things out. So that's pretty cool. And then if you're running uh, your copies of Citri, this thing can synchro on your opponent's turn. Now, in this particular build, I wanted to focus more on the level 4 Rosenix uh, and my Citri to go into that powered Insectron on my opponent's turn because it's a guaranteed, like, stop. It's a guaranteed uh, way to stop them from, like, even defeating you on that turn because this guy cannot be destroyed and you cannot take battle damage or any damage, I think, on that turn. So, it is pretty crazy. Uh, summoning this guy on your opponent's turn, it guarantees that you're not going to lose that game. Uh, at least on that turn. Uh, and the next turn, you have a chance to bounce back with your cybernetic fusion, uh, polymerization, fusing into all the, the machine, all the machines in your deck into these big boys. Uh, and it could be pretty messy. It, it, you can mess up your opponent. So that's pretty much the thing. We have ultimate defense and ultimate offense. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. We have two copies of Cyber Dragon because I only have two. I'd probably be running three and one less Cyber Dragon dry. But Dry is pretty good because of the fact that um, he's just kind of a normal summonable monster, so you can actually bring him out. Uh, his effect is kind of, uh, it's not really important. Uh, the thing is, I think if he's banished, gets to make your Cyber Dragon immortal. But uh, I don't. I think that mainly works with uh, Cyber Network, which I'm not running because I, I tried to make it work, but it was too slow. Because you have to have it active. Uh, I was going to try to use uh, Rosenix to like destroy this card so I can get free summons. But it, like I said, it was too slow. <laughs> very, very slow. Uh, so rip indeed. If that was like a spell or something, a continuous spell, then maybe it'd be a, a bit better. Uh, three copies of this. Like I said, three copies of Rosenix. Uh, one copy of Nushpachi, only because I'm running two copies of Bude. Uh, and he can get me a free monster and a free uh, thing that just targets my opponent's monster, switches him to defense, potentially protect me for that turn. Uh, one copy of Cyber Repair Plant. This is a, a basically a free search for cyber, or a cyber Dragon. So if I have either one of these guys in the grave, I can activate this and just get a free one of these guys to my hand from the deck, which is pretty nice. Uh, like I said, the, the Cybernetic Fusion support uh, basically lets me pay half my life points so I can fuse all the uh, materials in the grave uh, as well, uh, which could be really, really strong, especially if you just have, it's like late game and you have all the stuff in the grave. Uh, two polys because we don't, have, we don't want to have too many because we don't have that many uh, fusions in the deck. I was also going to run Cyber End, but I was like, eh. Uh, he's a bit situational. I mean, cyber. I am using cyber style, and that could definitely work with cyber end. But I figured I, I'm. This guy does the job basically. Chimeratic Over Dragon's just gonna be able to make himself like a, unlimited attack and just wreck my opponent. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, like I said, one power of the Guardians for the protection. Uh, you can use it to stall, or you can use it to go completely ham and just offense the crap out of them and beat them beat down with like Cyber Twin or something, which would be really really crazy. And then of course the Treacherous because I lately I've been using it in most decks because it is such a good card, dude. I'm I'm really liking Treacherous. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Uh, as for the extra deck, like I said. We got these two Cyber Dragon boys. Chimera Tech Over Dragon is probably the best one out of these fusions. Sure, Cyber Twin Dragon is pretty good. Uh, I think he's better when you combine him with Fire of the Guardians, though, because oh my goodness. Because that way he that way he cannot be stopped. Uh, but you can basically fuse this guy using any of your Cyber Dragons. Uh, you can if you're fusing from the grave, you can also make this guy and this guy uh, by fusing your dry. So that's also pretty cool. And uh, we got the defense engine over here. We got our, our boy Bude who can uh, kind of work as a double agent. You can use attack and defense. And our boy, uh, powered Insectron, which is mainly for defense. But of course, he's a 2500 Peter. But whatever, that's pretty much the deck. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into rank and let's see how we do today. All right, first up we got Sartorius Kumar. So let's see if he can handle the, the girth of these uh, mechanized monsters. Uh, so whatever, let's see what these guys got. I'm going first. I mean, it's stacked. This deck is not really good at going first because I'm running Cyber Dragon. And Cyber Dragon likes going second. Um, yeah, as you can see. So what I have right now, though, is a pretty decent going first hand because I have this guy. Uh, I've learned that Rosenix is actually really good. 
Uh, but I, I literally already have a fusion, which is kind of amazing. So I'm going to go for a defense play right now, which is destroy this guy, put him in the grave, get a free Citri from the deck, putting this thing out in defense. And uh, yeah, I think I'm good right now. I don't even need to do anything. Uh, on my opponent's turn, if I do, or I'm going to survive because I'm going to synchro into my defensive boy, uh, Powered Insectron. He's about to end his main phase. He just ended, dude. I, I should have synchroed. Um... He's got 5,000 life points over here, dude. I guess I'm gonna have to... Wait, let's let's check our boy. Can he just attack twice in general? Um, because I, I've used him to attack monsters, but I don't know. Uh, this card can only done with the fusion monsters. This card can make a second attack. Yeah, I can literally just game the boy. Alright, so I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that right now. So, I can also go for my, um, my, uh, what's his nuts, dude? My Overdragon, because I can get... A few materials out because I can also banish Rosenix to get a free token, and that could be one, two, uh, three, four, five. Eh, it's not enough, dude. I'd rather go for my uh, my my actual playable boy, but I do need to summon this guy first so I can make that play work. Um, his effect, sure, why not? Uh, now I'm gonna go for this, and I might just have lethal because I don't know what my opponent did, but he's decided he decided not to play anything. So I'm gonna say okay then. I'm just gonna smack you twice with Cyber Twin, even though he probably has Karibo. Uh, and we're leaving this thing out here in attack position, dude. No fear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and battle. Attack with this. Is there a Karibo? There ain't no Karibo here, dude. That's game. That's a game right there. I don't know what he had. He probably bricked. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the first game up to like pure chance, maybe luck, that he bricked. Uh, and I had a pretty, pretty like ultimate hand. Uh, I could have also tagged out and actually synchroed into like a 2500 beater, which would have just kind of stood there, but I didn't want to waste it. But fair enough, man. GG. That's a, that's a fast game. All right. Next up, we got Jack Atlas. All right. He's probably a beatdown boy, actually. So he's probably playing some blue eyes, red eyes. I don't know anything that uh, that kind of gets uh, stronger with uh, the beatdown. So uh, we're going second right now. That's awesome because I have Cyber Dragon. He has no monsters though. What are the odds? And I have Power of the Guardians, dude. If I hack, if I actually, oh my goodness. Um, obviously. I don't have two Cyber Dragons, if so, oh my goodness, it'd be amazing to actually try to pull this off. But I'm going to go for Sofefnir over here. So, throwing this guy away. Or girl, actually. It's a little whammon. Uh, so, uh, destroy him. I think I'm going to use his effect. I'm going to pull out. Uh, I could go for another one. Because reasons. I kind of want to pull this thing out, though. And I think that would be a little bit better. Eh, a little bit better. I mean, potentially. Go for this thing. So, literally watch this, my dude. So, destroy this, special summon one of these guys, or girls, in the in uh, defense, and I am good. I mean, I could tribute, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not I'm not dumb, dude. Uh, he's probably, I mean, I I still think he's playing Red Eyes. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's playing Beatdown. He's not, he could be playing Grit, too. But, uh, he's playing Blue Eyes. Okay, good to know. Uh, so now, with Blue Eyes being the, the actual thing right now, let's see what he can go for. Big blue eyes or uh, that one? All right, that's fine, actually. That's perfect. So, what do we got, my dude? He's straight up battling, attacking into my little whammon girl, a uh, little little crystal whammon. So, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and tag out into the twenty-five. I'm gonna go for this one because if I can go into my level six, he, okay, there he goes. He's gonna tag out. If I would have gone for my big boy, which I wanted to go for, uh, but but I don't know, man. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably miss timing. Uh, I'm not sure, though. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing. Actually, no, we, we would have definitely got him. We would have even switched his blue eyes to defense. But he could have definitely waited till after I did that. So I still think I played it right. Uh, he's the one that jumped the gun. So attack position, dude. Attack position. Maybe maybe he'll be dumb and he'll attack with blue eyes. And then he'll econ take. If, if we can make him, like, if we can make a misplay like that, it'd be amazing. Oh, vigilance. I mean, he got negated. I can actually take damage. Ouch, dude. But the thing is, I do have a ultimate cyber style, and I do treacherous. Oh, you, you're you gotta be messing with me. Oh my goodness, dude. We're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot of power right now. I I, I feel. Let's go for let's go cyber. Cyber it up. Got these guys on here. I'm gonna set the treach because it's gonna be really useful eventually. I'm also gonna activate my polymerization. I'm gonna probably just fuse two of my boys. Uh, I'm gonna go into this bad boy right now. So, oh my goodness, another game that might be saved by that guy. So, let's go for these two corner ones. Getting this guy out here. I could have also fused the Cyber Dragon in my hand, but I ain't doing that. So, getting this guy out here. 
And, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna tribute, because that would make me tribute, uh, Cyber Twin. That'd be dumb. But what I will do is activate Power of the Guardians, giving my boy the ability to kill Blue Eyes and attack twice. So, yeah, it's gonna be messy, my dude. Uh, attacking. That's one dead Blue Eyes. And, uh, I mean, might as well smack him with that. And this is gonna be game! No way, dude, another game snatched by that Cyber Twin. Dude, I cannot believe I'm actually using Cyber Twin as much as I am. I, I normally just go for the other, like, the stall play and and go for the Chimera attack. But, I mean, I guess people are just going down to the Cyber Twin. But, uh, GG, next game. Alright, and last up we got Shizu. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen a Shizu. I think, I always see them playing, like, vampires or or at least i used to uh, i think now it's basically they just use that skill no i think it's no mortal can resist so you can't use your grave that could mess me up but it's pre-science all right i think that's just a standard skill so i have a definite uh su fifth mia right now so activating this guy i'm gonna send this thing away so bam uh destroy himself i'm gonna special summon probably another copy of himself just to load up my grave because having more m materials are just it's kind of optimal. So, uh, let's go for this guy. And I can still go into a Citri from the deck, which is still pretty good. Uh, I can also just normal summon you. That could also be a thing. But I don't know about that one. Now, I'll, I'll save it. Because literally every Citri I have, or at least two of them, are a guaranteed past turn. It's, it's guaranteed that I'm not going to die on my opponent's turn. Unless they somehow negate. Kawaki! Oh, it's, is it? It's not Kawaki Neos, is it? Is it straight up Kawaki Mer Okay. Probably just Kawakis. <laughs> that could be really dangerous, actually. A double, dude? You have two? Dude, that card's getting... That card's definitely gonna get hit, so... Uh, I'm at least happy about that because of these situations in general. So, uh, let's see what you got for me. Now that you've gotten two searches, you've searched... I, I guess they're gonna go Maximus right off the bat. Uh, the good thing is if my boy is destroyed by anything, I do get a benefit. But if he banishes him in any way, then yeah, he's kind of screwed. I'm kind of screwed. Uh, but I'm expecting him to go for a 2,000 beater, the 3,000 beater, um, there it is, 2,000 beater, reveal a core, summon from the deck, uh, get the 3,000 beater, hit, 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 um, that would be, that would be your typical lethal strategy, but, uh, the good thing is I do have a third Citri in the deck, so, can't be destroyed, doesn't have to pay any cost, which is okay, alright, or Knight, reveal, dude, this guy's trying really hard. He's trying really hard. He's playing a full meta deck. He's going to use his effect. Actually, this is beneficial. He, he, this is going to be really good for me. So, uh, effective ice to destroy my boy. Oh, there he goes. Now he's got the big boy. All right. Maximus is going to get a free destruction. Go ahead. Sulfefnir special summons another thing. I got to go for you. I absolutely have to. And let's see if he tries to use uh, Kwakimaru Ice's ability. Yes, he is. Get that discard, dude. Get it out of your hand. Oh, it is Neos. Oh, my goodness, dude. This guy's trying so hard. Uh, the good thing is I'm able to tag out. <laughs> good thing I threw this thing away. All right, so now we're going to go for the ultimate defense. Uh, I could have also gone for my level 7, but I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, we're going to go for this guy in attack position because no fear. No fear once again, dude. Let's see if he tries to, let's see if he tries to destroy this. If he's dumb, he's going to try to use Ice's effect to destroy this guy. Yes, he is! <laughs> they don't read cards, dude. It's, it's 20, 2019. Then nobody reads cards. Uh, yeah, our Ice, our, our, not Ice, our Insectron over here can't be destroyed. So uh, go ahead, man. Now, try to hit me with your Maximus. Yeah, man, hit him. Hit him all you want. So, yeah, that's why I think it was beneficial and better that I went into that guy instead of going into the level 7. Because Ice is still going to be really annoying. So, he doesn't have to pay any cost on this turn. I have one whole one whole turn to bounce back. Uh, can I do it? I can technically Sulfifnir. Thin the deck a little bit. So, uh, activate your effect. We're going to put you in the grave. And I'm going to get you out. Now I'm going to go ahead and destroy himself. Uh, effect. I'm going to get my Crystal Bird, Rosenix. Now, if I had my level 7, I'd be able to do other things, but I do not. So, I'm going to have to just tribute for Cyber Dragon, unfortunately. Uh, but, yeah. Dude, if only I had a fusion right Dude, imagine bouncing back with a fusion. That would be amazing. Uh, he didn't send away a, a, the Piggy to protect himself, so at least that's a good sign. I could also technically banish my Phoenix to try to get a thing out, but uh, I'm good. All right, I'm going to go and uh, just try to battle. I'm going to deal a little bit of damage, but I will have to worry about... Actually, I'm going to have to go for the Phoenix. 
I have to go for the Phoenix. <laughs> Why? Because I just need an extra thing to block. Uh, because we're going to be able to kill two things right now. So, battle. Hit this thing. It's the most important. All right, now let's kill this thing. There we go. All right, good. Now he's going to have one destruction and one uh, run over by battle. Uh, he's also probably going to attack my uh, token, which could suck. Uh, uh, another diamond core, dude. What are the odds? Is he adding Sandman? All right. All right, interesting. Maximus' effect, destroying that thing, that's fine. That is fine indeed. He's going to have two hits right now, so at least there's that. He's going to deal 900 and no damage, so that's cool. And then next turn we can summon our Citri and potentially still do some stuff, implying, implying that I do not draw my, my what, Nanishi? If I draw that guy, I'm screwed. If I draw Nanishi, I am absolutely screwed. But uh, I can definitely stall one more turn. Cyber Repair Plant. Actually, this works. This actually finally worked. So let's go ahead and use this effect. Let's go ahead and add a free Cyber Dragon to my hand. Uh, this guy can kill his thing. I can get a free thing out. I think I'm doing fairly well right now. So we got our free Cyber Dragon. Let's go ahead and special summon. Yeah. All right. Got him. All right, so now I'm also going to... Ooh, who do I have in the grave? I Do I have a level 4? I think I do. I do not. I have Sulfefnir, dude. I don't like that. I do not like that. But I guess I can go for my level 7. I, that can still stall. Actually, that's fine. It could still stall. I'm going to summon the U. Now, I am not going to... Even though, if I if I actually... Ooh, if I, if I straight up Synchro right now into my level 7, I can run over the Maximus... And then he's got nothing else to bounce back with. Oh, that, that might actually work. <laughs> that might actually work. I think I got this. So, we got our boy. We're actually going for this guy and his strategy. Uh, so, um, this guy's effect is sure. Get a free thing out. Pull this guy out. Pull him out in a defense attack attack position, dude. Maybe, maybe he'll be dumb and he'll attack it. Uh, but yeah, this guy's effect, switching him to defense. So, that's cool. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and battle. All right, so we good. We good. We get, we get to hit this guy. Bam! There goes your dragon. Uh, and oh no, I forgot he has to attack. I'm so dumb. Uh, you know what? I'll take it as a as a plan. I planned it, dude. I was totally wasn't a misplay. That totally wasn't a misplay. I didn't. I I want to get my life points low so I can go max out on cyber style. So if I do draw Polly, I can go for my uh, my big boy. Uh, but but yeah, so totally part of the plan, guys. Part of the plan, a hundred percent. 100% part of the plan. Uh, he can't pay the cost for this guy, so he dies either way. So, rip. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Did I actually kind of bounce back? And I drew the I drew the Rosenix, um, which is a pretty good good card. But actually, is that the last one in my deck? Literally, my deck only has one more Sofefnir. Nah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for these guys right now. Unfortunately... This guy gets to destroy himself, pulling out another one of these from the deck. Last one. He doesn't know it's the last one, though. Uh, I do. <laughs> like, I actually have the, the benefit that that is a thing. Uh, but, oh, I don't want time out. <laughs> we got nothing else we can do. Let's go ahead and switch that monster to attack position, deal some extra damage. You gotta be kidding me! He's actually gonna send me away? You gotta be kidding. I, I couldn't even kill it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that triggers me a little bit. That triggers me slightly. But he's got Neos Fusion in the deck. I mean, he threw out two already. I hope he draws Neos. <laughs> I hope you drew Neos, dude. I hope you drew Neos. Uh, but yeah, this thing only works on flip. He has to attack because he's dumb. Uh, there you go. You, you, you danked out right there, dude. <laughs> it's a misplay when you do it. But yeah, not when I do it. Uh, but we got our dry. Actually, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and summon you. Um, yes. Because I have no more tuners. It doesn't matter anymore. So, uh, going for ultimate beatdown right now. Battle. Alright. Sazank. Switch to defense. 2,000 to the face. Oh, we're so close! We're so close to beating an actual, like, meta deck, dude. And we, we haven't even pulled off our Cyber Dragon engine. <laughs> so, yeah. Interesting. And my life points would have been higher. And they quit! Oh, my goodness. We actually beat a really, really strong deck.
<laughs> wow, dude. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's pretty much the power of this deck. You see some Cyber Dragon full on beatdown, and you see the Insectron and uh, and Katakuri kind of stall shenanigans. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. All right, and in conclusion, I think this deck has some potential. I mean, uh, you have your offense, you have your defense. Obviously, the, the thing applies when you try to make a hybrid deck, uh, a deck combining two different archetypes. There's always going to be a potential lack of synergy, but I think this deck is really, really strong. There's a few times when I've actually been able to, like, fuse out the Chimera Tech Overdragon and just fuse every single card in my, or at least a whole bunch of machines, like a good 11 or 12. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it becomes insane because my, my thing gets really high. Um, uh, I think it's 11 or 12. I'm not sure. I, I know, I know one time I had my, my time was running out so like bad that I couldn't even like click on all the things because I had one second to attack and I still ended up uh, losing because of timeout. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see any other Cyber Dragon decks, because I know I have a few Cyber Dragon decks that I definitely want to make, but those are for another time, dude. Uh, I have so many things I want to, I have to cover right now, but whatever. That's pretty much that. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.